Welcome in this video in which we are going to see the basis of the Isograph 6.1 workbench. The workbench is composed of two main parts, the working space and the toolbars. You can customize the toolbars as you want. You can display the toolbars you want to display and you can customize this one. You can create, for example, your own toolbar. That's what I'm going to do. I will call it my toolbar. Okay, and in this toolbar I will add some commands. So in the list I'm going to select the toolbar I have just created, my toolbar, here we go, and I will add some commands. So for example I will select in the build menu the build solution command, in the file menu, file, um, I'm select a new project for example and a last one in the tools menu the external command one we will see later what are the external commands I'm going to rename this external command to TD build I close this one and I see my toolbar I can click on the TD build to start the TD build software or I can click on new project to start the new project pop-up. Uh, let's see now what are these external commands. You see in the tools menu that I have some shortcuts to external tools. I'm going to create a new one and I will call it notepad. So I have to search for the notepad file in the system32 folder. I will select the notepad.exe file click on OK and I see now in the tools menu a shortcut to the notepad. Let's see now how to use the working space. Uh, for this I'm going to open a plugin, for example the Solution Explorer and you see that I can dock this one on the left, on the right, on the bottom. This is a, a Visual Studio shell functionalities. So I will dock it on the left and I can also put it in a floating mode, it means that I can put it where I want, or I can also select uh, auto hide functionality. Auto hide means that the plugin will be hidden, and when I put my mouse on it, it will appear. So I dock it back, and now I will open a new project. So I will select new. No, I'm going to open an existing project and. Um, selecting this one. Uh, I see my deployment view, so this is the architecture of my project with my network and my devices. In my devices I have resources and in this resource I can create programs. I can create programs executed on interrupt. I have a dictionary for my variable and I can create graphical pages. These pages are called IESA view. Uh, I have a local library where I can create my function, my function blocks, and my own data types. I will now open a program. Okay, so this is a program written in FBD, uh, which is a graphical language. You have uh, some videos available concerning all the language you can find in the in the workbench. I can create a vertical group to show at the same time my dictionary and my program. My program can be also displayed in a full screen mode. Okay, I exit the full screen mode and I exit my vertical group and uh, I will open another plugin available from the deployment view. If I double click on, on my device, I open my device view. In my device view, I will see uh, also all what is available in my resource, <coughs> for example, my programs. Um, I can open this one, it's a ladder uh, program. In my program, I can see that I have one ease view page. So you can create pages uh, locally to a program or uh, global to the resource. In the function block, I see my function blocks. So this time I can uh, display my function block in a graphical way where I can see the inputs and the outputs and the local variables. And you can create here also your own data types. 
there is a sheet to create arrays and a sheet to create structures. I told you a few minutes ago that you have the possibility to create program on interrupt so I can open here the interrupt plugin where I'm going to make the link between the different interrupt available on my programs. I can display also some information concerning my resource for example the list of the C function and C function block supported by, this, by my target. Uh, you have here the list uh, I have also some feature concerning my target. I can close this. And I'm going to show you now how to customize your settings. So I'm going in the Tools option menu. And you see that you have the possibility to customize, for example, the project path. And you have the possibility for the dictionary to change the colors. Uh, for the languages, you have the possibility to uh, set some uh, settings concerning the grid, concerning the colors, and so on. This is available for all the languages. Also, for ESA view, let's open the ESA view settings. You can create uh, for each kind of animation the default values and so on. All these settings can be imported and exported. You can export these settings to apply um, the same in another laptop to have exactly the same workbench on the other laptop. I'm going to export now my settings. So I'm going to browse to my folder. Here we go. The exported file has a VS settings extension. This video is now finished. If you want to contact us, you can write us at support at isagraph.com or supereurope at isagraph.com.